Today for Mousetrap Monday, I got a really interesting antique device known as an eagle claw trap. This was patented in 1877 by Benjamin Smith, and it was listed as a trap useful for catching fish and small animals such as mice. The way it works is it has eight razor sharp prongs, just like an eagle claw, that all come closed right at this point, so any animal right here, when the trap goes off, will be caught eight different directions in its body. And the way you set it is it has a powerful spring. When you pull this ring back, that spring opens and those claws open up. And when it's set off, it comes slamming shut right there. This original trap was missing its trigger, so I made a makeshift one with a paper clip. And the way you set it is you pull it back and there's a little catch right there. You make sure that catch is hooked on that lever and you wanna be real careful because uh, if those come slamming shut, you'll get eight little puncture wounds. And you put this uh, paper clip trigger system right around here and that will hold everything in place and open. You put a little bait on that paper clip and when an animal comes along, they pull on it and it'll come slamming shut and get pronged by eight different directions. Here's the stand I came up with to hang our little claw mouse trap. The mouse comes along to get bait right there on the tip and when it pulls that down, those eight prongs come in and jab it from all sides. So let's go test this out. I'm not sure how this will work, but I think that mice will definitely go for the bait. You wanna have it high enough that they have to reach up and their body is exposed, their vitals, their heart and lungs and spine are all at the right level for those claws. So you have to set it up a little bit off the ground, but I think this is the right height. Let's go test this out and see if we can catch a mouse in this antique mouse trap. Last night our claw style trap for catching fish and mice were great. That mouse came in to get that bait and those eight prongs stabbed it and it didn't even struggle or move hardly at all. It looked like it died very quickly. It's a really neat design and this trap is 140 years old and it performed perfectly. To release this mouse all you have to do is pull down on the spring and it releases that mouse and you can set it and uh, go catch more. A really wicked design that works great. I was amazed at how fast that mouse died after getting caught in that trap.